In the darkest times, hope is something you give yourself. That is the meaning of inner strength. It's time for you. What's good, YouTube? Bishop Boy Amir Views here. Hey, we back with another video, man. We back with another banger. We back to open the mind. I don't got too much energy tonight. Just got my hair done. It was a long process. Been doing that since like 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So it's late. It's midnight. Um, I was about to call it a night. I was about to draw a couple things and put it in for the night. You know what I'm saying? Because Sundays, I normally just chill, just rest, regroup for the week. I was like, no, I, got I got a lot of videos planned in my notes. I was like, let me knock one out. Let me knock one out. Today, we are going to be talking about stimulating your brain and what that really means. It's not going to be super long. I'm just going to give you guys a brief overhaul or a brief review on what I think stimulating your brain is and why I think it's very beneficial or what you stimulate your brain with because you can stim stimulate your brain with bad things and good things. Um, but before we get into this video, hit the subscribe button, man. It's free. It really helps out the channel, and I really appreciate it, man. I really, really appreciate my bright minds. I love you all, y'all. I hope y'all doing great things, and if you're hitting tough times in your life, just know that the rainy days don't last forever, and the sun will shine once again. Just keep grinding. Keep putting the work in. You'll be all right. God is on your side, man, but hit the subscribe button, bro. Hit the subscribe button if you love life. You know what I'm saying? But let's get right into it. <clears throat> so stimulating your brain is very, very important, and a lot of us in today's world of 2024 stimulate our brain with negative things stimulate our brains with things that don't benefit us and keeps us in a horrible mindset and we look around our life and we're like why is this going bad or why is my life like this or why am i at a job that i hate why am i doing this this is that a third is because the things that you're stimulating your brain with are creating thoughts and those thoughts are becoming actions and those actions are not good actions so for example Say you get off work, right? Had a long day of work. You work eight hours, right? Six, seven, eight hours, five hours, whatever. However long the, the shift was, you're tired. You get off work. The first thing you do when you get off work, you turn on Netflix. You watch some Netflix, some brain, watch, brain rot stuff, some random TV show that's really not important, you know, wasting time, right? Or let me give you guys another case. You stimulate your brain when you get off work, you flip, flip up that laptop, you go on your phone, and you, you go on the hub, you watch adult films, you stroke the chicken, and now you just wasted, not only you wasted your seed, you wasted your life force, you drained your energy, and now you just stimulated your brain with things that are not real, because that's fake, they're literally actors, it's fake, right? Now you got that post nut clarity and now you thinking, bro, what did I just do? But now you have no energy because you just drained your life force. So you have no energy. And now you just lay around all day for the rest of the day. You got you did nothing productive, right? You did nothing productive. Why is that? You're probably like, well, I did do something productive. I was just at work. I was tired, man. I know not everybody. Everybody can be entrepreneurs. But if you if you want to be that entrepreneur, Still have your job, still have your job, but when you get off that job, work on your job, work on yourself too, bro. You see, now that that, that was the two examples. I just got off track, but that was the two examples, right? The, the one guy gets off work, one girl gets off work, goes straight to Netflix, watch some stuff that doesn't really help her, doesn't really help him. This is that and a third, right? Or the other person comes off work and goes straight to the hub, release their seed, release their life force. Now they drain their energy for the rest of the day and now they're cooked, right? Let me give you guys two more people, though. This is a good way to stimulate your brain. You get off work, you take a shower. See, I didn't even mention a shower, so that means they didn't even take no shower. You get off work, you take a shower, you eat a nice little meal, nice uh, nutritious meal, put positive things to your body, good fruits, good vegetables, or, you know, just good meals, right? Some seafood, some, some protein, chicken, whatever. Whatever you're eating, right? But it's good for you, right? Have a nice glass of water, and you work on that business, that you've been working on or you've been thinking about working on right say you got a couple side hustles you work on that you read a book you read a few chapters in your book you go out you take a little walk right or you work out you go to the gym if you're not able to go to a gym or you don't have a gym membership you get a workout in at home 
right? Or if you live on your own and you still live with your parents, like me, clean your room. You clean around the house, right? You sweep, do some dishes. That's good. That's a good way to stimulate your brain, even down to just cleaning, bro. Because you're cleansing. You're cleansing. You're cleansing the energy from last week. You don't want to bring in last week energy into this week. Even good in even I would argue, a lot of people might disagree with this, but I would even argue even good energy you don't want to bring into next week because you can still be thinking about you could still be thinking about oh that that happened. That's that thing that happened last week. So good, so good. That you're still stuck on last week. You're not focused on the present. So I would argue that. I will argue that, but especially the bad energy. You don't want to bring that into the new week. You don't want to bring that into your new day. So you're cleansing that. You're stimulating your brain. You're reading. You're learning. You're gaining knowledge, right? You're eating good foods that is helping your your body because your body is your temple. Your mind is your temple. Your body is like a car, bro. If you don't put the right oils in, if you don't put the right gas in, if you don't fine tune it, go to the mechanic shop, this, is that, and a third, it's not going to run properly. But you know those things that I just listed? That's stimulating your brain good. That's stimulating your brain in a positive way. The first examples I gave was stimulating your brain in a negative way. And you'll be surprised how many of us stimulate our brain in a negative way. And it's not just those two examples. Scrolling on social media, as soon as we get off work, we're scrolling on TikTok for like hour or two hours. Those hour, that hour or two or three, however long you was on social media, just scrolling, mindlessly scrolling. You could have been doing something productive. You could have been doing something that helps you further your life, that helps you improve. And I'm not saying don't have entertainment. I'm not saying don't have your fun. I don't want you guys to think that when I make these videos, I'm saying just be a robot. No, because I get my fun in. I still watch my Minecraft videos. I still watch my 2K videos. I still have time. I still play the game uh, sometimes with my homies. I still hang out. Yeah, I still have fun. But what I'm saying is, do more stimulating your brain in a good way than a bad way, bro. We're still going to have our pleasures. We're still going to eat our snacks. We're still going to watch our TV shows. But if you're just doing that and you're not improving yourself, that's when it becomes bad. That's when it becomes a bad habit. And that's when your brain starts to rot. That's why that new phrase going around brain rot is true, man, because you're rotting your brain. You guys know what I'm saying. Your parents just say, don't watch, don't sit. Oh, what is it? What was it? Don't sit too close to the TV or you're going to rot your brain or don't watch too much TV. You're going to rot your brain. That that's true, dog. That's true, especially the cartoons now, man. Especially that. So listen, stimulate your brain in a good way. I was, I was, my mom was doing my hair the whole time, and I was reading. I was reading my Forty Eight Laws of Power and, and uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. I was, I read uh, like, I finished one of the laws on Forty Eight Laws of Power, and then I went to Rich Dad Poor Dad, and I learned so much. I was just thinking like, okay, boom, boom, boom. How can I apply this? That's a good way. I could have been scrolling on TikTok the whole five, six hours I was doing my hair. I could have. And I was scrolling on TikTok for a little bit. Two, three minutes here and there. But I had some music in the background. I, I was gaining knowledge. I was gaining knowledge while doing my hair. I could have easily just been just out here just doing stuff. But I wanted to learn. Learning is so important in, in today's world. I don't know anything. I may have a lot of topics to talk about, but it's just my opinions, my personal experience, experiences in life. But I really don't know anything, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't know anything. And sometimes I act like I know it all. Most of the time I be joking. And sometimes I think I know it all and I have to work on that. That's okay. It's growing pains. It's life. You're going to learn. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to get bumps and bruises. But when I sit down and, and think, like, I'm like, yo, I don't know anything. <laughs> I may know a lot, but I I know I know. I don't know more than what I do know, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So that's all I got for you guys tonight or today or this evening, whenever you guys are watching this. Um, stimulate your brain in a good way, man. I can go further into this, but I didn't want it to be a super long video. It's about nine minutes now. But stimulate your stimulate your brain in a good way and try not put as less negative things and just mindless things into your thoughts into your mind because your mind is your most powerful things on your in, in your body your mind and your gut your mind and your gut is, is is connected that's why what you eat is what you is important and what you see and what you retain is important that's all i got for you guys today hit the subscribe button stay disciplined or you will be disciplined i love you all stay positive stay safe if she ain't get with the program she can get the step in 
turn that L into a lesson, turn that lesson into a W. I love you all, my bright minds. Until next time, until we open the mind once again, Amir Views is out. Peace.